Uh, you can see our baffle box designs here. Um, kind of there's a good way to see how it goes through around and then into the studio. Uh, the This is a uh, mimicking our wall. So um, plywood, three quarter inch plywood, and then two layers of five eighths inch drywall around the entire box, just so it's really heavy and stops sound from coming in or out of it. Here's a little view of how that works there. All right, guys, a lot of information here. I do these videos and this is like really the, for the nerdy people out there that really want to learn how to do this stuff. Here's an example of that chimney. Uh, so we got our, our drywall wrapped around and then we're actually moving away from using rubber. So I'm using just back rod and acoustic sealant now because um, it's just cheaper and easier to source. Uh, rubber works fine. And then actually this plywood here, you can actually uh, paint it with duct sealant or you could even run a metal duct through it. Just don't have the metal duct touch the uh, back rod because that'll connect the two walls together.